Now GarageBand for iOS, as we all know, is an incredible device, incredible piece of songwriting equipment. Now, one thing though that will make it even better is if you were able to hook a keyboard up to trigger the keyboard sounds. So for example, the Rhodes on here sounds good on the keypad, but you can go. You can get a finer degree of control, albeit, I mean, this one's okay. It's the Akai LPK25. It's perfect for programming. So in a way, it's kind of similar to the iPad, but because of the keys being arranged as actual buttons, it's less likely that you'll hit one either side. Now, the other thing that you can do with this is to hook up a bigger keyboard. So with something like this, for example, this is the Novation Launch Key 49, you get a four octave range. Now, what I've done is I've hooked this up to a USB hub, a powered hub. If you try and plug this in direct without um, without the USB hub, the iPad will say that the accessory is drawing too much power and then it just won't operate. So you do need that USB hub. Even greater degree of control you can get there. And things like your pitch wheel start to have an effect as well. Although on roads, there was no pitch wheel in the beginning. So there's my launch key. Now I've got the Pianosaurus Rex underneath here, which is my uh, Roland FP4, which has a USB output on the back. And it's, got, it's just told me that I've plugged a USB lead in. How helpful of it. Uh, and now I've got even greater control over the road sound and I've also got a sustain pedal hooked up. Now, on GarageBand, we have the classic piano, or classical grand as it's known. And this is where a keyboard like this can really make a piano sound like this really wake up. go and of course you can play any other sound with this the whirly you know you can do anything with it so with the piano it's important that you have your USB hub it doesn't have to be a really expensive one because actually the amount of data it's transferring is very small it's just that just numbers coming from the keyboard so it's it's comparatively small amounts of data but make sure you buy that genuine camera connector I'm running iOS 11.2 which was the new version as of the beginning of 2018 and uh, the camera kit that I've bought does work with it. Um, I know that, that lots of people online are sort of a little bit gripey because the old camera kit no longer works with iOS 11. But, you know, it's, I suppose it's business, isn't it, really? But uh, it's well worth a purchase of a new camera kit. Um, there's very little you can do about an old camera kit that says not supported. And usually it'll wait for a minute or two before telling you. Uh, and indeed, I found that when I tried to pick up a cheap one and use that, not a good idea. But I'm very pleased that I've got the genuine article because it really works. <laughs> Thank you.
Now the classical grand on here does have a really nice, really nice sound. Now when you compare it with the sound on board in here, there is a difference. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just unplug the iPad so that you can hear the difference between the two. So I've got the, the iPad grand piano here and if I just play that chord, unplug the iPad and plug it into the headphone out of my output of my piano. Oh. So. Now you do have a bit better bass response with this. But you can just plug your iPad piano back in. And you can go to your mixing desk and actually just put a bit more bass end on your grand piano so that you've just ramped the bass up and the treble down a bit. And there you go, you've compensated for the slight lack of bass definition. And it's fully polyphonic, so you can just do big chord. And it's very touch sensitive as well. Anyway, I hope that demo has helped you out a bit. It's worth getting one of these. I, I think I paid about £150 for this. And you can plug a sustain pedal in. So if you're playing piano, you don't have to go the whole hog and spend a thousand quid on your piano. You can get something smaller. Um, and indeed, the controls that on here don't actually affect the settings on, uh, on GarageBand. So there's not really any point in in investing in something to control something like the alchemy synth. There are you know, restrictions with what you can do with this, but there's masses you can do. And there we go.